Chris Mullet Coop, and I'm a generational egg farmer together with my family, my wife Laura, and my children Josiah, Emma, and Timothy. We care deeply about the way in which all animals are treated. We've been farming here for six generations. When we make choices about what we're going to use for our hens, it's not a one-dimensional issue. We need to consider food safety, hen care, health and welfare, the environment, what are the energy needs, and what kind of impact is this going to make on the environment, the economics and food affordability, and also worker safety is an important part of our decision making process. You know, what's the environment going to be like for working in? It's important that nature's multivitamin, the egg, a high in protein, nutrients, multivitamins, is accessible for people. It needs to be uh, accessible for people of all incomes, regardless of their budget. On our farm, the evolution here for ourselves, again, six generations worth, we've experienced a number of different styles and ways of, of raising laying hens, from free range to free run, to conventional housing. My family started in the 20s, the 1920s, and my great-grandparents raised pullets, which are young hens, in the attic of our house, the existing house that we live in today. Our Canadian winters mean that six months of the year you're going to need to house hens regardless of the style of housing that you have. So they reared them in the attic of the house. When the spring warmer weather came along, they would then place them out in the field and they were fenced in. It worked for them, but there were challenges. There's predators, there's foxes, coyotes, hawks, there's disease pressures, exposure to wild animals, wild birds. During the 60s, there was a real push for food safety, getting hens up off of the litter into conventional housing, and again, still safe from predators. Eggs would, were laid on clean slats and would roll away from the hens so they would remain clean. It was another huge improvement. But we didn't stop there, we continued to explore new ways together with uh, poultry scientists and, uh, and research and development that goes on on an ongoing basis. And we have now on our farm what we call the enriched colony. It uses all the advantages that conventional housing use, but it adds a little bit more space. It's still a small group. So I think in this system of the enriched colony, being able to exhibit some of those natural behaviors, perching, nesting, scratching, and dust bathing, will go a long way in hen health and well-being. So in the end, a healthy bird means a healthy, nutritious, safe, affordable egg. My grandparents, great-grandparents, I didn't work directly with them, but just the knowledge and the sense that they did walk here and worked on this same property is inspiring and sort of gives me the enthusiasm and vision to strive forward. I love it that our family gets to work together, that our children get to experience caring for animals. I like the opportunity to be able to work with my family, my parents, siblings and grandparents and learn from their experiences. I guess that's been this in my blood ever since I was a little kid. To be a farmer and an egg farmer, it's good to be together with a family every day. I have the responsibility to produce safe, healthy food for the communities around me. That drives me every day to do what I do.